Hello, how are you today? I am good. Please, tell us your full name. Where are you from? What do you do or study? My name is Lauren Fuentes. I am from Portland, Oregon, and I am a nursing assistant in a skilled nursing unit. Um, and I'll be applying to nursing school in the fall. Why did you choose Honduras La Ceiba and what program are you doing and for how long? Um, I'm doing the pre-med, pre-nursing program. Um, so I work in the clinic here. I chose Honduras because I like the program and I really wanted to improve my Spanish, which really needed improving. Um, <laughs> And um, it just seemed like a really good fit. How was your Spanish immer immersion program? I really liked it. Um, the classes are really long and really tiring, but I learned a lot. Um, and it was nice to kind of uh, gear the classes towards things that I really needed to study, like more like medical terms. So. Why did you choose a broader view and how did you find him? I found a broader view googling on the internet. Um, I chose it because um, it kind of gave me the opportunity to get some hands-on training in what I'll be doing as a nurse and also there's a lot of the Spanish uh, language immersion and it really seemed like it was more um, like I was actually going to be participating as opposed to just kind of being a glorified tourist. So. How was your experience at the program? I really liked it. I um, really, really liked the hospital a lot. The people there are really nice. The nurses there are really awesome. Um, they were really welcoming and helped, they helped me a lot, especially because I couldn't speak a lot of Spanish at the beginning. And um, I ended up learning a lot of things that um, I normally wouldn't get the opportunity to learn about had I uh, went back in the United States where I'm not a nursing student yet. How was the service of local or brother view coordinator and staff? Everyone was really awesome. Can you give tips for future volunteers on what to bring us donations for the program? Um, everything. Um, there's, there's always a need for gloves, sterile gloves, gauze, um, medical tape, um, really basic things like that. We blow through gloves, um, but any sort of medications, uh, antibiotics, antifungal medications, anti-parasitic um, um, medications, um, meds for malaria, meds for diabetes. Um, there's a really, really big, great need for um, supplies here. Any tips on what tours to do on the weekends for the new volunteers? Um, I really love going to Utila. Um, it's really awesome. It's full of a lot of backpackers from all over the world. and um, it's a, It was an awesome place to learn how to scuba dive. Um, I also like um, Calles Cochinos, really beautiful, and uh, Pico Bonito, there's white water rafting, and um, in Sambo Creek you can do um, zip lining. What did surprise you most about the program, city, the experience in general? Um, there was a lot of things that sort of surprised me. First off was the weather. It's always hot. There is no cold. It is always hot. <laughs> it, it's very strange. Um, but it also surprised me kind of the conditions in the clinic um, and the hospitals. Um, how little fun, how little funding they get from the government and um, how corrupt the government is in its um, just in, um, supplying us hospitals with what it really needs to provide um, adequate care. How was the service of a broader view U.S. office before traveling to Honduras? Um, they were really awesome. I put in my application late and they didn't yell at me, um, but they helped me get through it as fast as I humanly could. Um, 
but yeah, they were awesome. Would you recommend a broader view to all the volunteers? I would to people who are really open-minded, who are really, uh, really feel like they want to learn and.